Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. Welcome to this video where we are going to be participating in Clash of Code. There are many, many people watching right now, as you can see, uh, and they are joining this private clash that I've created. So Clash of Code is a game where a bunch of people are going to join. Look at all the people, so many people. Um, uh, all, all of these people will compete to solve the same problem. We've chosen a fastest mode, so we don't know what the problem is yet. In a minute and a half, the problem will be revealed, and then we will all do our best to solve that problem in the fastest amount of time. Um, and we also can choose any programming language that is supported here. They support a lot of programming languages, but in general, uh, Clash of Code is, or a uh, coding game is really cool. They have a lot of other uh, games you can play, but Clash of Code is a fun one. Uh, and we're gonna max it out. The last game we just played, I think had like 80 something people in it. Cool. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> And so you have about a minute. Uh, I'll share the link again in the chat if you missed it. Uh, go to this link. Yeah, there were 81 people in the last one. That's crazy. I'm excited. Are you excited? This is going to be fun. All, although, sometimes they're really hard. So it's possible that I just fall flat on my face and, and I'm not able to solve this. Um, but I'm going to try my best. And I think that's the thing. This feels... It feels like there's pressure. Don't let it be... Well, don't let there be pressure. You have up to 15 minutes to solve the problem. Um... And especially like if you're a beginner, don't worry about everybody else that's potentially doing it really fast. This this is your, this is your battle. This is your battle. It's a battle against yourself. It's not a battle against everyone else. <laughs> These problems are sometimes they're hard. <laughs> are there 95 people in here? Whoa! Are we gonna max out a? Um, are we gonna max out a clash? Five more people. Five more people. All right, we got six seconds. Um, are we gonna max it out? I guess we had max, but 95. I think this is the most people to ever participate. All right, flash disk mode, let's go. Up at the top, you can see the timer. On the right-hand side is where you're going to write your code. You can see um, some comments and some example code. And then at the bottom here, you have your, your test that you can run. All right, let's read the problem description. You've discovered that your enemies use a weak encryption method and you, and, and you can in, interp, intercept their messages. They convert their plain text characters to the hexadecimal ASCII values and concatenate the values. Split the string in half and interlace the two strings in the following way. So A, B, C, D interlace to A, C, B, D. Every second character is from the same string. Okay. Your task is to reverse the encryption and, the output, and output the message as plain text. So uh, encryption example, the plain text is KL. You convert K, are we converting to hexadecimal? On the ASCII values. So yeah, I think if we look at K in hex, is that 4B? Is that how that works? Okay. Uh, two. Wait. No, no, no. I think we, we could do something like uh, char code at, which gives us the character code. And then we do uh, two string base 16. Yeah. Okay. So we have to take the character, each character, convert it to hexadecimal, and then do the um, concatenation split that string in half and interlace them. So we need to reverse this. We have to basically go in reverse. So we're given the encrypted string and um, we have to decrypt it. And the constraints for this is that the length of the string is always going to be divisible by two, meaning it's always gonna be an even amount. All right, I think I can do this. Um, so first of all, we have interlace. So we need to de-interlace it. <laughs> so we're gonna take the, the input string and split it into two. So we'll have like our left half and our right half. Um, so the left half is going to be E. We could use a uh, slice, I believe. So go from zero to the length divided by two. And then the other half is going to be um, E dot length divided by two up until the end. And so I think this will give us the left and the right half. Let's Let's try it. So print left half and right half. Did we do that right? So we get 46 and BE. Cool. Um, and in this case, we get 4 and B. And if you click right here, you can see uh, what the inputs are. So 46 BE, and we're, we're splitting that correctly. Cool, cool. So our split works. So um, now we need to de-interlace it. Um, so we have, um, we split it. Um, 
and now we need to de we need to deinterlace it. So I think I'm going to I'm going to iterate and I'm going to choose back and forth between the two strings. Um, and so it always starts with the first one, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to iterate to the length of the half. So we'll say the uh, deinterlaced. Uh, starts off as an empty string, and then I need to iterate um, up to the length of the left half. And then I'll say D interlaced is going to be left, right. So I'll grab the um, left half at I plus right half at I. Uh, and then let's just log D interlaced. And uh, a quick tip on here is if you do console.error, uh, you can basically debug things without it counting as your output. So we're going to look at them. Um, assignment to constant variable. Yeah, no cons. Thank you. This should be a let because I'm reassigning it. Um, all right, so we have 46BE is the initial input. We then deinterlace that so it becomes 4B6E. We're on the right track, so we've deinterlaced it. Um, now, every two values get converted into uh, from hex to uh, decimal. So, whoa, <laughs> Flouse with the resub, who says, thanks for being an awesome streamer and tutor. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you very much for the resub. Thanks for, thanks for your support. Um, OK, so we deinterlaced it. Now we need to split it on twos and um, convert each of those from hex into decimal. OK, I think we can do this. Let's say. Um, uh, decimal values is an array. And then um, I'm going to iterate, but I'm going to look at two at a time. So I'm going to iterate over the deinterlace string. So we'll say let i equals zero. Well, i is less than uh, deinterlace.length i plus <laughs> plus. Instructions unclear. I made an express app. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're looking at the deinterlaced value, but instead of increasing by one, I'm going to increase by two, which will allow me to get the, the two values for the, the given hex. So I'm going to say plus equals two. Uh, and then I will say decimal value equals um, deinterlaced at i plus deinterlaced at i plus one. And so this should give me, uh, well, actually, this will be the, the hex value. Let's call this hex value. And somehow I made a square bracket instead of a curly brace. That's not right. All right, so we have the hex value. Um, let's just log the hex value. Uh, is that right? Um, all right, I have eight minutes left. Am I, I'm going to get rid of, so I, I think up until this point, we've validated that my other pieces are working. Oh, that's why it's the first thing being logged. Okay, that's why. <laughs> so I was like, why is it the second? But so down there, I was logging the other things, but we should see 4B, C, C, cool. So uh, this is a hexadecimal value. Um, so I think I can do parse int. And if I pass in hex value, and the radix is 16, that should give me the decimal value, I think. So, uh, decimal. Yeah, so 4b is 75 and 6e is 110. Cool, right? Right? That does it. So um, now I'll just push decimal into my decimal value. So I'll say decimal values dot push decimal. And then now, I mean, technically, I could I could kind of just do this all in one go. Uh, let's just call this uh, characters. Because instead of pushing the decimal value, I'll just say characters.push um, decimal, well, uh, string dot from char code uh, decimal value. Decimal. Then I don't have to do that. That works, yeah. Uh, and then the last thing I need to do is just uh, Whoa, <laughs> I just need to join all of those characters together on a space. Uh, bad 
Dobby Fisher. <laughs> Thank you very much for that Twitch Prime sub. So we're gonna log uh, characters joined together on a space. Or no, on no space, just joined together. Oh, 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 does it work? Does it work for all? Oh, no, no, so it breaks in this scenario. What have we done? What have we done? Um, so for what's up? Oh, tricky. What's my output? Oh, well, that's wrong. <laughs> that's extremely wrong. Um, so here's the thing. It work. It works for uh, standard things, for like super basic things. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we need to figure out what's happening in, the, in this particular scenario. Um, and if we look at what's up, um, we technically need to look at it split in half, I think? Or maybe we did the deinterlacing wrong. We're going back to Pearl Harbor. Oh, we're going to attack Pearl Harbor. Uh, I guess that's the, de the message we're decrypting. Hex the text. Let's look at let's look at my deinterlace value or like my left and right half and deinterlace values again. Not again. <laughs> so we're going to look at deinterlace. Like what are we getting back here for that? 55317 and let's actually um let's log the input as well. All right, we only have 5 minutes left. Trying our best. So the input is this. If we split it in half, we then get five, five, three, seven, two, five, five, three, one, seven, seven, two, seven. So we're we are reinterlacing it. Yeah. So we deinterlace it. We're then getting each individual characters. Let's make sure that this is working. Um, because the hex value here would be like fifty three. And 53 is supposed to be a W. Uh, let's actually go in reverse. Let's go in reverse. So if we were to take this W and convert it to hex, that gives us the value 57, which means we are not deinterlacing it right. Because after our deinterlace, we get 55, when actually we should get 57. Huh. So maybe I'm supposed to deinterlace. I am reinterlace. Oh! Okay, I've messed up, and I only have four minutes to fix it. Because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm splitting it in half. No, you're right. You're right, right, right. My deinterlace is wrong. My deinterlace is wrong. So instead of looking at left half, right half, each individual one gets split into the right half and the left half as I iterate to the right. You're right. So I need to start off the left half and the right half both start off as empty strings. Um, and then I just iterate over the entire input. Um, and then deinterlaced is, um, no, so the left half plus equals uh, e at i, and the right half plus equals e at i plus one. Yep, and so that, now I'll say deinterlaced is equal to left half plus right half. Uh, I broke that. Assignment to constant variable. Oh, these need to be let. All right, I only have two minutes left. Am I going to get it? Looks like we have quite a few submissions. Yeah, quite a few people have already figured it out. I'm slow. I'm slow, but that's okay. 4B undefined. <laughs> uh, we need to go to length minus one. All right, so it works for single characters. Um, we then get the left half and the right half. Somehow, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, I plus equals two. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're hopefully gonna get this. Yes. Yes. All right, I got help from the chat, but we figured it out. We figured it out. We only have two minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and submit. Uh, and then after all of it, we can review my solution, but whew, that was a doozy. <laughs> yeah, I was cheating. I was cheating. Um, so let's see. I got fifth place. That's not bad. 
I got fifth place. Uh, but there were four people, uh, Pedro Sario, Atomic Energy, NovaScript, El Bajare, they all finished it before me. Look at this, Pedro Sario completed it in Python in three minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> it took me 12 minutes and 53 seconds. Awesome. Um, so that was fun. Uh, thank you for watching this YouTube video. Uh, actually, Pedro, Pedro Sario, if you click share code, I want to see your solution. I'm going to show the YouTube world your solution. Click it. Click it. That timer is stressful. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, he clicked it. Awesome. So we can see how they solved it. Wow. Okay, so read in the input. We're going to have our, I'm guessing this is our left half and our right half. Go up to length divided by two. And then we're deinterlacing to our left half and our right half. Our deinterlaced version is just our left half and right half smacked together. And then uh, now we need to convert each thing. So we're, and so this is like our parse int. We're parsing that hex value into an integer, get back the character, and then add it to the text. Wow, wow. So this is basically what I did in a less verbose way and in a third of the time. <laughs> but great job, Pedro Sario. Uh, so this was fun. Uh, tune in every other Friday or so here on Twitch on Coding Garden where we play this. And I hope to see you there. Bye. Everybody say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, great job, Pedro Sario. Great job. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. I, I just remembered that for my for my YouTube edits, I actually want the end to be a little bit longer so I can do that that card thing so people can click on it. Like, click this, click this to see the video, click here to subscribe, that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs>